Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren. I hope you are all well and safe and that you all had a good New Year's. Um, whatever you chose to do, whether you went out or stayed at home. For me, I was in bed by 10 o'clock <laughs> and then got woke up at 12 o'clock when the fireworks went off. But never mind. That's how I chose to celebrate. So, uh, yes, welcome again to 2022 and welcome to all my new subscribers. I've had a, a fair few new people subscribe since uh, I put on my whip parade so thank you very much um, and again any returning viewers again thank you very much as well for returning it is much appreciated um, so today I've got a little bit to go through uh, I've only got a couple of projects one two three four five six six projects that's it <laughs> and um, some stitching mail so that's only two things so I'll show you those anyway um, so I'm gonna say this one's probably gonna be a probably a shortest video, <laughs> but never mind. Right. Okay. So let's get into what we've been stitching then. So I forgot to undo the bags, so I do apologise. It's only one bag. My first one is my World of Water, which is a DMC kit, which, if you remember from my whip parade. Was almost finished. I just need to do the French nuts. Finally done them. Well, I've done all the ones I'm going to do, put it that way. <laughs> so this is now classed as a finish. So this is done on 14 count light blue Ada. And it's two over one full cross. I said for the French nuts and back stitching. But here it is, all finished. So as you can see, I've been in and Done loads of French nuts all the way through here. I finished all the ones off here. And then I put the ones in th through here. And then there was meant to be a couple coming through here, but I couldn't be bothered with them ones. <laughs> so I am classing that one as a finish. So that just needs washing now and ironing, and then a frame sorting out for it. So when that will get done, who knows? But yes, that is my first finish of 2022. And for those of you who have tried, been wondering about the DMC kits and how much wash you get left over. So these were both full. So that's how much you get left over. So not much at all. I ran out of a fair few of the colours and had to get them as well. So with the DMC kits, you don't get much left over at all. So if anyone wondering on getting the DMC kit, you may need to get some extra colours. So that is finally finished and out of the way. <laughs> okay, so I had a couple of new starts since the new year, uh, which I said I was gonna be having a couple. So my first one is from Pain Free Crafts. Now, if you remember, I got this kit um, about two months ago, month, two months ago. This is called Cold Bravery. So I finally decided to start this one. Now I didn't get a lot done in this one, but this is done on 28 count um, easy guide. I'm doing it one over one full cross. Now this got 246 stitches um, and it was just so I could get it started. So not an awful lot, <laughs> but it's started now. So we'll see how we go with this one throughout the year. And the matching needle miner, which is awesome. So that is cold bravery. Sorry, some of these are still in queue snaps. Well, I'm not taking them off. <laughs> I thought, well, everything you need to see is on there. Um, the next new start I had was Anzac, uh, which is a long dog sampler. And this one I am doing with. Mrs. Sada Sucks in the colorway Supernova. So this one, I've got a pretty decent start on this one. Um, so this one got 1,129 stitches. Now this is done on 18 count Ada, which has been coffee tea dyed. Um, this one was sent to me from Kelly and it's just the right size for Anzac. So this is where we got up to on that one. Hope you can see this okay. 
thought there was a hip or something on it then. So that's Anzac if you So we've got the little, I think it's called a bush baby or whatever up there. This will be a gecko. I haven't done the back stitching on it yet. And this one, I'm assuming is an armadillo. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so yeah, so that is Anzac. I was enjoying stitching on this one. It went pretty quick. Mind you, I think most long dog samplers do when you get going on them. So that was that one. Uh, the next one um, was my another one of my kits. And I can't go into the bag. Now, this is the one that I said I was going to move on to after I finished the World of Water, which is my Tiger of the Heavens. And this kit is from Design Works. Crafts Inc. So on this one, I started working it on this side. So I'm gonna try and fill in. So this is the one I want to get finished next, out of my kits. So this one got 676 stitches in on this one. So hopefully you can see through this. So this is where I've got to on that one. So I filled in a little bit down here just to get this part finished off. Um, and then I've done the two, well, the three red things. <laughs> and then this is the edge of the piece. You don't get much margin for the uh, the border. So it's only about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Um, so yes, I've done this part. I've finally filled in under the planet here. And then put in the, if you can see it, the dark blue floss. Why they put you dark blue on a navy ada is beyond me. So this is a 14 count navy ada and it's done two over one full cross. So next time I work on this one, I'll, I'll start filling in that part and work my way down to the planet. And then I can backstitch this part and then I can then move over. Well, I'll go back up to the top and finish off up here first. So yeah, so he is coming along nicely. Obviously, you'll see what this one looks like fully out the Q snap for my whip ray. Wow, this is going to be a very short <laughs> video. The next one I worked on was my uh, super sized tiger family of the jungle uh, artwork by Jan Patrick Krasny, and this is a heaven and earth design. And that's this one. So, as you were, I finished this page up down here. It's before my whip parade. So I've come back up to the top here to fill in the two missing pages that were up here. So that's where I moved up to. Now this one didn't get lost. Uh, lost. This one didn't get a lot done uh, this week. It only got 654 stitches. Um, and basically I'm filling in the park threads. And I have a lot more park threads than I actually thought I had. <laughs> so this is on 25 count easy guide. And I'm doing it one over one for cross. So I've done all this in here. So this is the bottom of the page here. So I've done all that. And I think I still must have maybe about another 30 park threads up the top here. I've got absolutely loads. I don't know why I've parked so many on this one. I know it's pretty com confetti heavy at the top here, so that's probably why. So that is the tag of the heaven. So I'm gonna do this page and this page. And then I'll move back down to the bottom and uh, aim for getting to the bottom of the chart. So that one is Tiger of the Heavens. No, it's not Tiger of the Heavens at all. This is Super Size Tiger Family. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Hmm. So that one will actually get worked on probably later on today as well, because that one's my Saturday piece. Um, and then the final piece I worked on was another new start. Now this is my Mirabilia. Um, and it's, I think she's called Titania, Queen of the Fairies. I'm just going to call it Queen of, Queen of the Fairies from now on, <laughs> which is this one. And I'm doing this on uh, 32 count uh, Blue Whisper, which is a uh, Swy, I can't even say it now, Swygart Belfast Linen. Um, and there, so I decided to have a start on this one. Now this one, I probably did more than I thought I was going to. 
And so this one got a total of 3,932 stitches in on this one. Now this is the one that I'm doing for my mum, uh, for remembrance of my auntie. Because uh, if you are new to my channel, my auntie passed away um, in November. And um, she was a big fairy. Well, she wasn't a big fairy, she was a big fan of fairies. <laughs> so she had loads of fairy ornaments all over. So I'm doing this for her. Let's just get some stuff behind it. So this is where I've got up to on this one. So I'm really enjoying this one. So as you can see, I've done a fair bit. <laughs> so uh, I think I've got a little bit more to go here and then I'm halfway down. Um, so, and then I've got the skin to do. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the skin yet. I'll, I'll think I'm gonna do it one over one. Um, now, I don't know if you can see, but here, I'll try and get in as close as I can. There, within the gaps in the wings here, it's all just blending filament. So that is one strand of blending filament full cross. And whoever decided that was a good idea wants shooting. It takes me absolutely ages to get the blending filament actually secured onto this. <laughs> so if anyone knows an easy way to secure it. Um, so it takes me ages to get it secured on here and then stitching on it. But it does. I do like the effect of it. I just don't like stitching with the blending filament. The Krynik not a problem on this piece. Um, I'm actually enjoying working on the cranic because a lot of the cranic is through here and these parts of the wings. So yeah, so I'm back stitching as well as you can see as I go. So I've done down to here on this one and down to yeah, down to here on this one. And obviously you can see the outside outline of a, a face and the shoulders. So it's coming along really, really quickly. I'm surprised how quickly this went. So this is, I've only worked on this maybe three, three, maybe four days um, since my whip parade. But not all of them were long days. Some of them were just a couple of hours. So, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. So that is Queen of the Fairies. <clears throat> so this one I want to try and get done as quickly as I can. Um, so then I can get it sent off to my mum, um, get it framed and get it sent off to my mum. So we'll see how quickly we can do that one for. Uh, I have a funny feeling, probably, I'm aiming for the end of February. If I can get it done before then, then bonus, but we'll see. Um, right, stitch them out. So the first one I got was from Judy. Uh, now she did a kit, uh, a dimensions kit. And um, she asked me if I wanted the chart so I could do it. So I was like, yep, sweet. And it's called Regal Tiger. That's this one. And that's going to work really, really good once it's done. So I just need to work out the, the flosses and the, the fabric. So it says to do it on 14 count beige Ada. So I'm assuming, obviously, all the background is stitched as well. But that one is going to be stunning to do. And then the other one, I forgot. So give me two seconds, we're back. So the other one I got from uh, JK's. She was having a sale and uh, she was giving 25% discount off all kits that she was trying to get rid of. So I went on and had a look to see what, what they had. And I got a Riolis kit. And this one is called the Great Bear. So, apologies for the glare. So, well, this one's going to be fun to do. I don't think I've got a bare piece, so that's what that one's going to look like. And this is the one with the wall acrylics. Should be fun. Don't know when I'm going to start it yet, but as soon as it was really cheap, I thought, why not get it? So we got that. And that's all I got. <laughs> so, as I say, a really short, sweet update video today. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to mention. Nope, I think that's about it. So yeah, nice and short. So I do apologize. Like I say, I haven't really got much to, to talk about. Um, Stitch with Maze, they've gone a bit AWOL at the moment. I'm gonna see if I can get one done this weekend. 
uh, ready for up during the week. Still need to do the review on the product that I want to review. <laughs> Still haven't done that one. Uh, so hopefully that one will be up this week as well. Um, again, anyone, if you are interested in joining the Facebook group, uh, that is linked down below. Um, again, just answer the three questions um, and you'll be uh, allowed in. That'll be where I do post for Zooms when I get those set up as well. So I'm going to aim to get some of those set up for next weekend. Um, I've finished my first assignment, well, my second assignment for this college unit. So that I got sent off um, today. So that's all finished. So it means I can now take it a bit easier. Um, I've got about three, four weeks, I think, till my next assessment's due in. So I'll just plod along with that merrily over the next couple of weeks to get that one sorted. So I'll get some Zooms done probably next weekend. Um, so again, if you're in the Facebook group, I'll post in there. If you're not in the Facebook group and you do want to be included in the Zooms, um, then by all means, just send me an email. Um, and once I've set the Zoom up, I'll send you the link. Or again, if you're on uh, Instagram, um, just send me a message on there and I can send you the link in that one as well. Um, so that's everything I've got. So again, very short, sweet, but to the point. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, and again, thank you very much for any new subscribers uh, and for any existing uh, subscribers. Um, back to work for me as from Monday. So that means my stitching is going to take probably a big hit. And I won't be getting as much done as I wanted to, but never mind. We'll still see what we can manage over the weekends. Um, so again, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, stay safe. I'll be stitching. And I will catch you in my next video. So until then, stay safe again. <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, take care and bye-bye for now.